What's up guys, Booga here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I spent my first $3 million after the World Cup. Right, so for starters, I mean, right after the World Cup, about a week or two after, the money was right in the account it hit the account it was an insane feeling i remember looking at this and i was just like yo that is crazy being able to see that much money on the form and just that even being able to get transferred is absolutely insane so uh yeah i mean that was wild so the first things that i did with my money uh was immediately take two hundred thousand. so i'm gonna take a hundred here take another hundred and i use this to pay off my family's house so my parents, I feel like I just had to give back. They've been supportive my entire career. They were there at the World Cup. They were there before letting me play the game, you know, helped me with the PC, supported me in all the activities that I did, allowed me to, you know, stop playing sports in school to focus on Fortnite. They were there for me at the very start. And I feel like this is the least that I could do for them. Uh, flat out just paying off the house. It's a place they love. They've lived in for a long time now. So, uh, so the second thing I did after that 3 million hit my account was immediately immediately think of a car. So I was around 16 years old uh, and I was looking at some cars and I landed on the Tesla Model S 2020 year and I spent about 100 on that. So the value definitely depreciates a lot uh, right after you take one of these Teslas off the lot. You know, back then the car had kind of just came out. Um, it was super popular. A lot of people were getting on them. Some Fortnite guys got one too. And I honestly didn't really know much about cars. All I knew was that I liked the style of it, the exterior. And uh, you know, I heard it was electric and I was like, all right, this, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know. Looking back at it, I mean, maybe if I had the knowledge I had today on cars, maybe I would have got something else. I would probably look at some of the Audis. I like the RS7s and the RSQ8s. Those are really fire. Uh, I really like those. So maybe if I set some money aside, some, you know, figure some things out or maybe win another World Cup, you know, maybe I'll buy one of those. But until then, I mean, I'm good with my Tesla. So after, you know, I paid off my family's house, I got myself a car. Uh, you know, I was thinking, okay, I need a new setup for myself, a new stream room, um, you know, just some new equipment. I spent about 50,000 total on, you know, house, stream room, and home gym renovations. So I got myself a little home gym uh, down at my parents' house. Uh, it's really nice. It's got about everything that you could think of in a gym. So we got like chest press, we got dumbbells, you know, we got about everything there. Um, I don't really hit the gym much right now. Uh, you know, back then I was grinding it though. And, uh, you know, was getting some results in, so it was pretty nice. Yeah, besides that, we got the stream room, you know, which we spent some money on the lights. We got some cameras. We got a new desk set up. We got some monitors. We also changed the flooring inside the room as well. We really renovated the entire basement room. I went from my bedroom that I normally played on in a little corner desk uh, all the way into the basement where I just had my own room. So I got a dual PC set up in the basement as well. Uh, 4090s equipped on them. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, I had a Herman Miller and I switched over to a DX so what is it you know I had a DX racer to a secret lab chair but uh the one that I was kind of sitting on was the noble chair uh, I like that one a lot that one was pretty good steel series apex pro mini I'm rocking that for the keyboard we have a Logitech G Pro Super Light 2 as the mouse. The Zowie GSRSE as my mouse pad. And uh, as far as the headset goes, I'm just using some Sennheiser headset. And uh, yeah. Us at Dignitas are partnering with Play Academy to give away a custom PC. All you have to do to enter is sign up on Play Academy to enter one of our $10,000 tournaments. Kanata Cooper and Peterbot are hosting their own tournaments and all you have to do to enter is play in one of their three qualifiers. The link's in the description. It takes less than a minute to sign up and comment down below why you think you deserve the PC. All right, so I needed to upgrade my closet. So I took a good, I'd say 75,000 total. I, you know, decked myself out. I got myself some watches. I got myself some shoes, some pants, some nice shirts, just quality things. Um, but I guess we'll start on the top. We'll start with the most expensive things. And that would be my two watches that I own. So I own an AP Royal Oak. The model is a 15100ST. Uh, it's super nice. It's got a beautiful white face. Um, you know, I, I love it. I spent a good, uh, you know, 30 on that, I'd say 30, 40 on that. Um, and then I also have a Rolex GMT Master II, the blue and black. Uh, some people call it the Batman. Got it on a nice oyster seal bracelet. Um, I really love them. Those are 
really two of the only things I've spent the most on as far as it comes to, you know, watches. And the Rolex was a good 10 to 15,000 as well. So uh, totaled up is about 45K. And then if we're gonna look at the rest of the closet, you know, I've got some nice subtle quality items. I've got some shoes over the past few years. A few things, I've got some nice designer shoes in there. Um, you know, growing up, I really liked shoes a lot. Uh, I would collect basketball shoes, that type of thing. I kind of fell off on that hobby. I'm super simple, man. I really don't dress flashy at all. Uh, I keep it very just clean and just, you know, very simple. So after I got myself dripped out, I got some, you know, things that I liked. Fortnite ended up moving the servers to Dallas, Texas, and I was living in Pennsylvania. Came on down here to Dallas, been living here for, you know, the past year, I'd say. And uh, I think I'd spent a good, you know, 50 so far probably on, uh, you know, just renting at this place. So it's very beautiful. Uh, we got zero ping. Uh, it's got a very nice view of the skyline. The Dallas skyline is super cool. Um, it's got, you know, two bed, two bath, and uh, I've been loving it, man. It's been really nice. <laughs> you know, I've sat there though and struggled. I'm like, you know, I'm a little hungry. I'm not at my parents' house anymore. They're not feeding me food. So, you know, I'd say I spent a good 100,000 on DoorDash, okay? Now, uh, you know, I'm getting some of the best food out there, uh, some of the most gourmet things you can get. Um, and then some days I'm just, you know, getting McDonald's, man. So uh, I think I've spent a good 100,000 on DoorDash in the past year, um, but yeah. <laughs> so the most important thing that I did was get myself an accountant, someone to invest my money. I've dabbled into some crypto here and there. Got into the stock market, some crypto, you know, my Roth 401k, you know, my account pretty much does it all for me. Um, that's why you gotta get a good one, but uh, that's why it's good to, you know, be smart and realize that Gaming is not gonna last forever. I mean, it can last for a little while, but uh, you're gonna wanna invest that money and you're gonna wanna put it to you know good use. So uh, yeah, just been investing the rest of it. So honestly, most of my money is just really going towards investments and just looking out for my future. We've seen a lot of people, uh, I'd consider myself an athlete. So we've seen a lot of athletes, you know, get a lot of this money and then just instantly blow it and lose it and not have a you know backup plan or anything else to do. So. Uh, I mean, I'm just sitting on my money. I'm trying to stack it. I'm trying to invest it. I'm trying to be smart with it. And uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below what other types of videos you guys want to see us doing. And uh, see you in the next one.